Type 6, Example 1. In the following questions, there are three pairs of words. You must complete the third pair in the same way as the first two pairs. So let's look at this question. What it's saying is, in this pair, czar is made from some of the letters in starts. In this pair, eras is made from some of the letters in reason. And our answer will be made from some of the letters in asleep. Now, you have to use the same rule in each pair. So the way you find czar must be the same way you find eras, and again, with our answer. So let's start by numbering starts. So we've got position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 within starts. And we'll do the same with reason. Now let's look at czar. Now where do these letters come from within starts? So the T can either be from position 2 or position 5. So let's write that down. The S can either be from position 1 or position 6. A, there's only one A, so it must be position 3. And R, only one R, position 4. So you see here that we're not sure what our, our rule is yet because we've got some options here. So the T can either come from position 2 or position 5, and the same with the S can either come from position 1 or 6. So we have to have a look at eras now to see if it gives us any more clues. So let's look at the E. E must come from position 2, only one E in reason. R has to come from position 1. A, position 3. And S, position 4. Now if we look here, we've only got one option. So we know that this is definitely our rule. And you can see here that you're actually using the 2, 1, 3, 4. So we can get rid of this 5 and 6 here. We know our rule is the second position, the first position, the third position, then the fourth position. So let's find our answer. Let's start by numbering our answer. So we've got first position, second position, third position, fourth position, and so on. OK, so to find our first letter of our answer, we have to look at the second position in a sleep, which is an S. Then the first letter, which is an A. Then the third letter, which is an L. And then the fourth letter, which is an E. So we get the answer, sale. Type 6, example 2. Again, it says, in the following questions, there are three pairs of words. You must complete the third pair in the same way as the first two pairs. So just as in example 1, you've got the three pairs of words, and you're trying to find the missing word down here. OK. Having a look at cash, you might notice that although there is a C in cash, there isn't actually a C in the word brash. So we have to look for something a little bit different to how we had done it in example one, because the letter that we're looking for is not there. Um, what you can see is that ash exists in the word brash, the last letters are there, and the aim part of game does exist in frame, so the last three letters are there. So those are easy to find, but then it means that out of the B and the R, we have to somehow work out how to get to C. And out of the F and the R, we have to somehow work out how to get to G. So I know that C comes after B in the alphabet, and G comes after F in the alphabet. So what about if you completely ignore the R and just literally change the B into a C? In other words, move it one letter further on in the alphabet. And the same thing for frame to get to game. If you ignore the R and change the F into the next letter in the alphabet, which is G. And that means you're using the exact same rule to get cash from brash as you do to get game from frame. So now you need to apply that down here to find your answer. So we've got crime. We know we're going to use this, the last three letters of crime, which will be the I'm part, the I-M-E. But we're just going to ignore the R, cross it out, and change the C into the next letter in the alphabet, which is D. So we get dime. 